everybody, welcome back to Let's Play a Banjo Kazooie, episode 5. Last episode, we started Clanker's Cavern and pretty much finished most of it. This episode, we'll be uh, spending the time to finish it off and uh, move on to the next world, Bubble Gloop Swamp, which is, uh, I don't know if it's in one of my favorite ones, but we're going to finally start entering into what I call the more interesting levels, are the ones that I prefer to play. Um, let's go here. Alright, there we go. So this one can be kind of a pain. You want to hit that, hope you don't land funny. So flip up here, get a lovely jiggy piece. And there's jiggy number eight. So now we need one more jiggy and one more jinjo and a few notes, if I remember correctly. Which I know the jiggy's on the outer edge of the place, along with the jinjo. So that should pretty much that. And then we have the two hidden honeycomb pieces. I can think of where one is. I don't know. Again, I have the issue of I don't know if I know where the other one is, which is good. You know, I love being able to forget things and not have a clue what's going on. So we're going to go get the hard-to-get honeycomb piece that I always forget about that I know exists, which is over here. And actually, it's actually faster to swim underwater, so we'll do that. So if we get the other one, we'll actually get to expand our memory. Our memory. Wow, that's wrong. Totally wrong. Expand our health. So technically, would it be expanding his memory? I don't know. how you uh, interpret that, I guess. So then... The, I have that area there, and then that one there. So let's do this one first. There's two kind of areas on the outside, or e outside edge. Wow, failed there. Okay, come on, water. Work with me. And so, one thing you guys will notice, yep, yep, nine is the max. Uh, alright. Whee! Ow, oh, come on. Oh, and the fail's starting to set in. No! Uh, it's always this level. Stay. All right, climb, 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 climb. So here to get this, just do a little bit of a talent trot here. And then I'll help you there. Jeez, we have quite a few <laughs> Smumbo tokens, which I help later because then I don't really have to either dedicate time to getting them or anything outside of that. So, all right, now for this one, I think yeah, you want to go left off this. The spring pad. So we wanna. And then there's two things to get here. There's a Jinjo. That's what you're hearing right now. Alright, and then we'll have to come back up and get those notes as well. And you're not gonna get to see the lovely dance. Oh, actually, I haven't quite impressed the camera and decided to go up and around. But here you want to slide through because there's the extra honeycomb piece. Oh no, that's an extra guy. Hmm. hmm. I have to think where that honeycomb piece is. Yeah, it's kind of bothering me. I always forget one here, so I know where the rest are in all the other levels. Hopefully. Alright, climb, 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 climb. And I always fall in there, so we'll just do this. Talon Trot. Oh, that's right, it's here. This is where it is. And now we have seven my, uh, hit points, right? Yeah, seven hit points. All right, so now the last area is over here. And this is where we'll get the last cheeky, and then we can get the heck out of here. Get it the heck out of Dodge. And now you got to worry with him. Climb, climb, climb. All right, now is when it gets fun. Here's where you can really screw up. Here you kind of want to, I always find it easy to come out and around. All 
Huh, I wonder where I'm missing my notes. Probably missing wherever that last Jiggy is. Hmm. I think I know where that is, though. I think I know where it is. If I think correctly, I think it is below this bolt. The one that I said leads to another area. Let's see. Come on, shoot it up. Yep, that was right. And it unlocks this. Woohoo! Which, ooh, her eyeballs. Twitching. Which this one's pretty easy. Oh, yeah, there's two there. Let's go. There we go. And that's all the notes and all the jiggies. And there's 10 of 10, 100 of 100. And I think that's 2 of 2. So if we look at here, go to our lovely view totals. Beautiful. 22 minutes. Not my fastest, but not a terrible record either. So. And there you go. That drops us off there. So now what we want to do is get the heck out of Dodge. So. And then we'll hit a Bubble Goop Swamp, which I got a decent amount of time to try and get some at least good amount of coverage of that world done. That one's going to take a little bit. That one is, uh, that's usually when the, the size of the levels will take a little bit longer. These first three are decently small, but... Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Alright, then... I do like the underwater like theme of this place. It sounds nice. Nice and elegant, but when you get up top, it's like. Rrr, rrr. Can't tell which one I don't like more, th or dislike less. Dislike less? I think it would be the one. This one or Rusty Bucket Bay. So. I am not a fan of Rusty Bucket Bay. I know there's some people who really like that level. I am not a fan of Rusty Bucket Bay. Ugh. I know there's a lot of people that way. So. Alrighty then. So let's try and get to here. And we'll leave. Alrighty then, so we're at seven. Five, seven. Let's see here. Open that up. So we're gonna need to do that. Alright, wait, I already did that. What am I doing? Okay, so if we go this way, to unlock Bubble Goose Swamp, you're gonna have to go up here. Jump up and around here. Ignore Gruntilda. No, I don't want to listen to you. You tell me nothing but useless facts and nobody cares. Please, go away. Stop. 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 I don't like you. I don't want to hear them. I don't care enough. They're funny, but I don't care. Okay. Thank you. Ignore her. I like to take guesses at those later, so I always had enjoyed trying to see. Alright. Alright, ignore Gurr. Go down this way. And down here is where you'll find Bubble Glue Swamp. Which, like I said, this is when the levels, in my opinion, start uh, improving. Because we'll get to Bubble Glue Swamp, which is level 4. And then I think it's Freeze Easy Peak, which Freeze Easy Peak's my favorite. And we get Gobi's Valley. And then the last three. So, just press the trigger. We'll do this one. Alrighty then. Look at that, we have 18. Far more than we needed for that one. I think we only needed seven puzzle pieces. So, we had, what, uh, almost four times the amount? <laughs> so, as you can see, 100% of this game, it lets you fly. But the thing is, is that near the very end, you do need to have 100% it to basically get the, the real ending of the game. So, it does give you a little bit of lax. You can miss like two jiggies, which leads in a lot. But it's like, well, to beat the game, you need to do it 98%. That's about it. All right. So before we go that way, let's go get our one jiggy that's over here. I often forget it, so let's not this time. Alright. Slam on that eye. Poor Grunty slamming, poking her eyes out. And that comes out her nose. There we 
go. Jiggy number four. Alrighty then. So the next one we're gonna go and get is, uh, like I said, Bubble Goose Swamp. Let's go open this door. 180, we have 300. Get out of our way, door. And watch Banjo's nose flop around like a drubber. Hey right there, so we have a good eight minutes to get a good uh, chunk out of Bubble Goose Swamp, which is good. Jump up there. Go down here. Alright. Hey, get out of here, enemy. And here you want to be careful not to land in the, the swamp water because as you're going to find out when we get into Bubble Goop Swamp, it's not so nice here. And actually, now that I think about it, I need to go do something before we do this. So. Um, no, I need the boot move first, so first we have to go in and then we come back real quick. I think it'll tell us our note record too, which is, doesn't make any sense in this anymore. Open four, you're in the move. Which actually I think is, I know I said Freezy's Peak, but I think we should do Gobi Valley now after, after this one. These are the wading boots. Chicken legs, where they, where's them so you can safely wade through dangerous areas. Like the swamp for a limited time. Okay, chicken nur kazooie. Let's go grab a pair. Hmm, your energy's a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Well, thank you. So now we know all the swamps do moves. It's quite easy. So to make yourself at least a little bit easier for later. And on this pad. And what you're going to want to do, because we're going to have to leave with the transformation, if I remember correctly. Oh, wait, no, the wave boots are over here, so... First off, we should probably get rid of these guys. Get rid of him. Get rid of this guy. Get rid of this guy. And I believe this is the one. Is this the one with Gruntilda? Yep. Or whatever her name, Patilda, whatever her nice name is. It's funny how she just disappears in Tui. Alright, so these boots let us wade through this nasty water, which actually hurts you if you walk in it. We're gonna want the boots to walk through this passageway here. So, on the other side here is a wintry area, which lets you unlock Freezy's Peak, like I said, which is the next world. Which we'll just quickly unlock, because it just makes sense to over here. But there is a nice little secret or easter egg in this area that you can get uh, after you beat uh, Bubble Blue Swamp when you come out with the transformation. So you want to come up here and there's this ice cube. If you do this and slam, you can come here later in this small hole with the transformation later. So very helpful. Whee! Alright then. Let's go up and around. Stretchy leg it. Let's go through the swamp again. Oh, don't run out. Don't run out. Alright, there we go. Alright, so now what we want to do is not fall back in the swamp. Thank you, camera. We'll go into Bubble Goo Swamp now that we've handled all that. We don't get too much done, at least in this last little bit. We don't have too much left to do here. I right, want to hit him. I'll probably take care of this guy, Croctus. Go around, collect, and get him out of the way. You want yummy egg too. So the kind of concept is that this guy kind of moves around the swamp, and you gotta you gotta hit him to. Uh... It's basically unlock a jiggy. Alrighty then. So I'm gonna want these boots real quick, mainly because I want that lovely mumbo token there. Try and get at least one. And if you ever want to cancel, you just press uh, uh, the Z button or the right trigger and B or X on the Xbox. I'm actually gonna skip the Jinjos for now, mainly because we'll pick them up um, in the next episode. I just kind of want to get through this. 
and get at least the first, like, first few Jiggies here. Which is just handling this and handling the frogs to the right. So we'll get this done, and that should be everything for this episode. And you think that this isn't much time, it really is. You just take your time. Eh, I'll come back for the, the notes. See, plenty of time. And now we'll go back, I'll collect all the notes and uh, get myself a lovely mumbo token. So we're going through, so. Alrighty then. Oh, I told. I said I'd collect those in the next episode. Oh well. We'll go get the yellow one then, I guess. Because he's right there. Alright, look at that. We already have 18. I know we need 10 for this one, so it's. And then we'll hit this guy. There you go. Get rid of him, and he'll turn into the red guy. And then the last one we'll get is the lovely frogs that, like, swarm Banjo. Who's right here. Oh, no, uh, ugly, hairy trespasser. He's after our gold. So to do this, I do a lot of B and attack like this. I find this to be the easiest method unless you want to go invincibility feathers, which isn't a bad strategy. But usually hunting them down is the most efficient method. I think there's one for every tree stump. Nope, I want to roll. All right. Like I said the fastest way is invincibility feathers, which is this. Whee! If I could hit the last one. Oh, we're too tough apparently for him, so that'll be it for this episode. And for this Jiggy, so thank you guys for watching. Rate, subscribe, do all the good stuff next time on Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. We're going to continue our progress through Bubble Group Swamp. Uh, we have two of ten Jiggies, I think. Let's see. I think we have about 20 notes here, 28 notes, and we still have the honeycomb pieces to find. So, anyways. Please rate, subscribe, do all the good stuff. I'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend. See you guys later. Bye-bye.